Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Aiman bin Abdul Rahman. My name is Muhammad Isfahan bin Muhammad Samadi. My name is Kare Haris bin Kare Nizam. And my name is Muhammad Alif Aiman bin Aziz. So today, we're going to present our presentation of KSC 301 Case Study, which is Library Management System. So in this presentation, we will present our library management system and product. In this case study, our team are required to create a system based on criterion and standard that was set by the lecturers. This is our organizational chart. I am in charge as project manager, which is the team leader. Next, I will be supporting by my assistant manager, Kyrie Harris. Our lead developer is Alif Aiman and our lead designer is Muhammad Isfahan. Let's move to our design part. For design part, I will start with the home screen. As you can see, this page consists of three buttons. On the right side is the registration page, which user has to input phone name, staff ID, phone number, username and password. There will be a message box for displaying a message for validation if the user entered existing data. This is login page. This page is used for user to input username and password for those who already have an account. Next page contains many menu buttons such as book details button, borrows button, book issue button, book return button, late return button, user button, login information button, and exit button. Any of these buttons will, will be redirect to, to respectful pages. In this page, User can search the book to see the full details of the book. User can search the book by its ISBN, author, and title. Users can also add new book's details by filling out the book's information and press the add button. This is borrower's information page. In this page, user can search information about borrowers. There are also three buttons, add new borrower button that will add new borrower information filled by users and update borrower information. This is late return information page. Firstly, user has to search the borrower by name or identity card. Then, it will list all the late return book in the list box. The generate receipt button will generate a receipt for the total of payments need to be done and the due date for it and return button to redirect, made back, to redirect back to main new list page. Next page. Firstly, user has to search the user by using staff ID or username. After that, it will display in the user's detail group box. There is also a list box for listing all users that have registered in the system. There are also two buttons, Update User Details and Delete User. Update User Details button will update any existing user's information, while Delete User button will delete the user's information. This page is used when people want to borrow books from this library. User has to input the ISBN, author or title of the book that the borrower wants to borrow. User need to click issue button to insert the data in the database. The add button will redirect user to borrower's information form if there's no name that exists in the database. Next page is used when people want to return borrowed books from this library. User has to input the return date of the book and click the return book button to insert the data in our database. The add button is there to redirect user that have not paid to the late return find form. This page will display the current time and date of the system and also the current username that is logged into the system. Each return button for every page will redirect user to the menu form. Okay, let's let us try run the system. Eh? So we'll go to the register button first to register. And wait, let me input. Alright, success. Then we'll go to the login using uh, that can be credential that we put. Alright. After that, we go to the login information first to see the username. Okay. After that, we go to uh, user first so that we can update this. We'll try it. Try refreshing. Okay, there. And then we'll go to the book detail to try 
instead the book Yeah, they will try to update it. They will try to delete it. Uh, after that, we'll go to the borrowers. Let me try. Um, yeah, try add. Alright. Okay. After that, we'll issue a book for that particular borrower. Okay. Alright, so that's it. After that, we'll try to do the book return yes. Okay. We'll try. Okay, so we'll see if anyone at least have let return finds. Okay. <coughs> we'll see the we'll see. Yeah. Then we'll go to um, we'll check the database to see if the data get updated. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, we just enter the borrower's name and it got updated to the database as you can see. And then we'll just insert it. And here the user data that we put earlier. So overall the system I can run and the data get updated to the library database. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you and have a nice day.